In the previous parts, uh, you can see the links in the description. After searching for all possible problems, we ended up with the fact that the most uh, probable problem uh, because of which the autopilot stopped working normally is the autopilot's pump, which I have there. I'm not going to repeat all things that you can always watch in previous parts, so let's get down to business right away. I will now show you the material recorded six months ago and we'll comment uh, sitting here or maybe there or here or there because the autopilot is working normally now so we'll be commenting uh, what is happening there to begin with let's uh, look at the dismounting of the pump and what was found there The pump is there, I remind you. So, when I noticed this shaving in the area of the valve's uh, threads, I thought that uh, this could be cause of the problem, although I doubted uh, about it a lot. So, the shavings are clearly due to unclean threads during production, but uh, this shaving is uh, big enough to be the source of the problem, so to stuck in the valve, uh, and it was located in the thread uh, itself. So this was just a guess that I made to the pump's manufacturer and they offered me to send it back after this for analyze uh, because anyway there shouldn't be any metal uh, par uh, particles um, So and offer to send me the new one. I really wanted to test uh, this old one there again after I cleaned it to make sure that the problem was or wasn't because of these shavings. Uh, but at the same time I really didn't want to bleed the system all again, so I chose the option of replacing the pump they offer it. Uh, and, but first I decided to conduct additional experiments and let's see them. First I decided to check the operation of the motor not this one, uh, to make sure that it had uh, not burned out or its power had not dropped. Uh, so I had to let it idle, measure the current and see if it's not uh, hot. Yeah, hear how it was. So the current is within the normal range. You can hear the pump, yeah. So and it doesn't uh, heat up. So there is no short circuit. You also saw that I tested it for the ability to overcome the holding force with uh, this construction plastic holder, simple plastic holder. You have seen this red stuff. So it became clear that the problem is not the motor. Uh, by the way, the manufacturer made an assumption that a little part that connects uh, uh, the motor with the gear box, uh, gear, well, you got the point, I hope, uh, so was broken uh, because of applying large torque when I tested the autopilot operation directly from 12 volts. Uh, so I covered this in other parts of my um, story, but this wasn't confirmed. So this part uh, that connects the 
mortar and the aluminum block uh, is intact. Anyway, I got a new pump, uh, it's already there, and decided first to uh, compare uh, the valves, how they operate, and here how it was. So, from the reservoir line, everything is open to both channels and everything is closed when you uh, go from these lines to the reservoir. Uh, if you rotate it and the valve will be, on the, uh, will be fixed on another side, all will be the same. When the motor operating, uh, everything is the same. So why we would expect something else? And I will explain another experiment that I don't want to show you. So again, blowing through the reservoir line. And when I try to close both, uh, then I feel pressure on both. If I close just one, then uh, I don't feel pressure on the closed one. All air go goes from another one. Uh, and also the same if I close this one. Everything goes from here and I don't feel any pressure. I got the new one and I just state the facts. So I don't hear valves clicking like on the old one, probably because the oil there. So I'm checking this. So far I didn't hear the valve uh, and I need reservoir line to be here, so I disconnect this nut and put it here now. I switched the nut and guys, so far uh, nothing clicks, no clicks of the valve there. Uh, no oil from there, except this uh, red one, I don't know, probably that is the oil. And I hope you will hear on the old one. Is it... Can you hear clicks? Yeah. I will try. No, let me try here. No, I don't have quite a place now. You should hear this. So, and I have seen this valve moving uh, there. Uh, so, nothing here. I will try this test with the compressed air and let's compare. Guys, I will just briefly remind. So, I put air here. And then I feel this air from both. If I lock one, I don't feel pressure to this one. All pressure goes from uh, the opposite and uh, the same if I reversed. But if I put uh, air here, nothing comes from here. The same way like on the old one. But nothing clicks, no clicks of the valve, no movement of the valve that I could clearly hear there. So. My big suggestion that something with the valve has happened, especially after we discovered uh, metal shavings there in the thread. Let's wait for the comments from the manufacturer. As you have seen, the operation of the valves on the old and new pumps, when tested in the way you have seen, is the same. I had no choice but to install a new one and see if a miracle would happen. At the same time, I decided to slightly modernize the line and also change the oil, although it uh, was used for no more than a week. But the issue with shavings was stressful. So, okay, here how it was. Well, that's Coca-Cola that we have here. It's just after about seven days of fishing. Well, and it's already bleeded with the new one. Uh, so, well, I don't have idea why it gets so dark. Do you have an idea?
it is transparent initially and by the way it's not even half liter where is the rest yeah i think it's still there because you can push it only with the new oil who have idea what other uh, things i can use to clean the system before i spend all the oil i have Okay, so I've got other stuff, the steering. So, uh, this uh, changes that are going uh, to be here, yeah. So, I'm starting with 45 angle degree, yeah. So, then we have T, uh, no other options. Uh, well, it would be better if horse would go from here, but unfortunately it's bending too much, uh, not, not so good. So, we have 90 degree here. Uh, that I don't like, but we have uh, awesome place for the bleeder here Awesome really awesome. So and the second will be here Reservoir will be here, but there's another story. So we have very short horse uh, To the helm pump. Yeah, and then there again. We meet 90 degree Yeah from the air from the um, autopilot pump and I want to remake this a little bit. These horses, uh, I want to make 45 degree angle there because these horses that are going there to the ram, uh, they are original Nitamo Japanese and quite bad. Yeah, if you watched my previous videos, you, you have seen they are extremely bad. So, um, and that's why to avoid le bending, I want to make 45 degree angle there it would be actually good to change them to uh, good horses uh, reinforced with metal but well it's quite a big deal so i will have 90 degree here and there unfortunately but that's what i have uh, you saw the color of the oil yeah so uh, i tell you even more there was a strange strange suspension in it. I recorded a video about it. If I don't forget, I will put the link. Uh, as the result, according to the pump's manufacturer, at first there was an assumption that this suspension was from, from uh, their initial lubrication. But I've already flushed the system five times or more with the new oil. So the second assumption was that this is from aluminium of the gears it's like the aluminium when you handle uh, and uh, you have this on your fingers yeah so and they told that it doesn't affect the operation so you also saw that I slightly replaced the road uh, of the truss removing 90 degrees angles not everywhere this is useful but of course uh, this has nothing nothing to do with this with the problem uh, and you saw that I decided to build a transparent uh, pipe into the reservoir to observe the flow of oil from the uh, helm pump uh, to the autopilot pump. By the way, let me show how it looks everything now. Uh, look, first I show you here that I remade this because if you followed my previous episodes, all episodes about how I build it, you probably remember that I have, uh, I had, uh, uh, I don't remember what I had actually, but uh, it, it was a problematic place because of the box and I replaced it so that it, it doesn't have here the bending, 90 degree bending, because this original Japanese Nitamu pipes, they are terrible plastic pipes. And here, yeah, uh, where is the pump? I also remade things, so that is the transparent tube and it's covered uh, from the sun. So I can raise this uh, sleeve and see the pipe. But why this junk here is because of uh, the connection I made here with the glue uh, thread locker. And I don't trust thread lockers and yeah, uh, it's true, it, 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 it's bad, yeah. I know how to remade it, I, I will do this but temporary it's uh, what I have now. So, autopilot fix the position. Okay, so that's what we have. As you can see now, 
Oh, that's nice. I am uh, <laughs> I am successfully uh, trolling on the autopilot. Yeah, I am standing now here. Uh, so you have seen different uh, places, different locations. I just demonstrate you that the autopilot do the job. So I do successful trolling, uh, not the first time. Yeah. I have a lot of video about the autopilot on my channel. Subscribe to see even more. Uh, and also a saga, trolling autopilot, uh, trolling saga. Um, yeah, will be published soon. Uh, so what happened? Yeah. The manufacturer said that low pressure in the autopilot pump was confirmed. Confirmed, confirmed. Confirm it as the result of uh, wear of the gear pockets. So wearing of the gear pockets and low pressure. Uh, during two months, I tried several times to find out their assumptions about the cause of the wearing of the pockets, and still have not received an answer. Uh, perhaps they have no idea about. Uh, there is no assumptions. Uh, let's therefore make our own assumptions. In all parts of this blockbuster, I have laid out all the facts for you. All the same facts were provided to the manufacturer. I am not going to repeat everything again. I will only briefly remind that at some point I noticed a strong overheating of the pump and after that everything went down uh, let me remind you that the pump is very reliable and is used on many boards that are not compatible with this small <laughs> bucket <laughs> yeah so uh, what could have worn out the gear pockets so much in just four fishing trips about seven days about 70 hours if we ignore uh, the manufacturer defects, then I have only one assumption, that this happened as a result uh, of an attempt to work with the autopilot on the high speed, about uh, uh, maybe 30 kilometers per hour uh, on the planning board, yeah? When actually steering is difficult. I recently released a video that I have difficult steering, especially uh, at high speed, especially at the left. So I thought that the pump uh, probably overstrained. Yeah, can I say this way? Uh, it shouldn't be like that in real life uh, with that pump, but I have no other assumptions. So, and what more? Now I don't even try to walk the autopilot on the high speed, uh, so the problem doesn't happen again. This is of course bad. Uh, on the other hand, I want to make sure that the pump can handle steering at high speed, uh, but on another hand, I don't want to fail it again. So if I will ever test, decide to test, I will definitely let you know. If you have not yet subscribed, then subscribe uh, to find out about it later. Yeah, I need to test it before the warranty expired, actually. So, but that's how it's all ended. Uh, uh, what will be your uh, mythical, speculative assumptions about the subject? Let me know in comments. Bye.